I cannot continue to feed a lazy man who has refused to do anything meaningful with his life and his sister who is just lazing about in the house doing nothing. What is the meaning of this crystal? What is the meaning of what have you done that I've not done ten times before for us? Mm. I get on before no be property. I am talking about now. What are you doing at the moment? What are you doing? No job. You're not doing anything. Just stay here eating food with your lazy and insolent sister. What are you talking about? The fact that I don't have a job in the interim does not mean that I'm not going to get one. In the interim, indeed. It's been five months. Five good months, Phil. You've not been doing anything. And your sister, too. Nothing. Two adults have just feeding two mouths hey, like hey, that. Hey, 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 she should go and get a job, okay? She can work at school at the same time. Stop. People are age, they do Stop it. Stop this nonsense. Kimberly's just 15 years old. And so what? You're the one spoiling her. What are you talking about, man? She can work. Uh, if it's time to eat, now she will eat like an adult. But time to work, she can't work. No one work in this household. The both of you have to get a job. Is it not you or her? No, the both of you. Did I introduce myself to you as a daughter or what? Uh -huh. Just be feeling too much. Phil! Phil, where are you? Please calm down, please. There's no way you can drive out this car, please. Phil! Babe, what's all this now? Leave the road now. What's, There's what's no way you're going to drive this car out of this compound. Do you know how much it costs me to, to buy for inside this car? Please, there's no way you're driving this car out of this place. The only reason you have to drive this car out of this place is when you are going out for something very important. Okay, I don't like what you're doing. Crystal, leave the road. Let me pass now. What's I am not going anywhere, okay? I put four in this car. The only time this car can be driven out of this company is when somebody is going for something very important. I'm not going to ask you again. If you don't leave this, I'm going to run you over. Okay, please run me over, please. What kind of what kind of frustration is this now? No, go ahead and run me over. What kind of frustration over. is this now? Go ahead and run me over, Phil, please. I want to be run over by you. Run me over. Phil, I thought you said you wanted to run me over before. What is all this? Where's the kid? Uh -uh. Mommy, driving car. It won't work here now. Can I want to ask you a question? Why does Auntie Crystal disrespect you too much? This is your house. You're the man of this house. Crystal is my wife. This is her house too. But at least she should give you a certain amount of respect. My wife respects me. Oh, I see. I hear you. I see the way she talks to you. I don't like it. She disrespects you. Maybe because you, you, you just lost your job. She makes you feel less of a person. Because you lost your job. That is not what a wife is supposed to do. And I'm going to say this. If she continues to disrespect you, I will have no other option but to disrespect her. No, 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 no. You will not do that. My wife respects me. And you will on no account, under any stretch of your imagination, disrespect my wife. That's if you respect have, you. Hey, hey, hey. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Yes, you have. <laughs> Hey. Good day, sir. Sharon, how are you? Sit down, sit down. How's work? Huh? Well, work has been held without you. Amaka and I have been planning to come see you, but we've been held down with tight schedule. Yeah, it's okay. I understand and um, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh. So, what are you going to do about this? It's been six months already. 
Are you going to sit and watch them get away with all they did to you? What would you have me do, Sharon? Sir, so you are the life of the company. The most hardworking member of the staff. I wouldn't want all your hard work to go down the drain just by baseless accusation. So I need you to fight back. <laughs> no, I won't fight back, Sharon. I will not fight back, man. Why fight back when you're not what they say you are? Why struggle to save face when you're not who they say that you are? Why fight frivolities? I'm not going to fight back, no. Well, if you're not ready to fight back, we're ready to fight for you. You're a good man and everyone knows this. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do, Sharon? Just leave that to me. I hope I don't have to testify against you in court. Let's just hope it doesn't get to that, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me get you something to drink. Huh? Yes, okay. please. I'm coming. Thank you. Mm. His holy crime here is the fact that he is a good man. Not only did he work for himself, but for the benefit of the company. So why would your boss lay an allegation on him? The company wasn't his originally. He only took over the company after his brother died. And we all know that he has always been threatened by Phil's drive and competence. His brother always talked about making Phil the CEO after him. But that was a failed success after he died. So what are his reasons? It is obvious. Very simple. He is a very selfish and greedy being. The problem I have is that Mr. Phil does not even see the need to fight for his rights in the court. <sighs> That is why I have you here, my brother. I need you to please help him. I cannot help someone who doesn't need help. First, it's a prerequisite that Phil has to recognize the fact that he has to bring me in to fight for his rights in court. That's the only way I can help him. Well, Phil is too civil to want to take the matter to court. Then you have to tell him that he's twice as civil as fighting for his rights in the court. So, what are we going to do about it? I cannot do anything. Come on, please. I cannot do anything. Um, what is it? I want to talk to you. Mm. You want to talk to me? Yes, if you don't mind. Of course I mind. What will the arrogant and insolent Kimberly be talking to me about? You are the one who is arrogant and insolent. Yes! The way you talk to my brother is not nice. You make him feel less of a person because he lost his job? Are you mad? Don't, don't you dare. Don't you ever. Don't and if you I dare, do, you want to fight me? No, Kimberly, you want to fight me. I'm not here to fight with you or cause trouble. I'm just here to tell you that the way and manner you talk to my brother is so unbecoming of a submissive housewife. So what do you want me to learn from you? What? How to be insolent and arrogant to my own husband when I grow up? Kimberly, you better leave my sight before I break you into pieces. Treat my brother with respect, else you will leave me with no other choice than to disrespect you too. This kid, are you mad? Did this rat just want me? Brother, before you say anything, please. I was just trying to defend you. I, I know you told me not to talk back at her, but that instruction was just hard to obey. I asked you not to utter a word of disrespect to my wife. What is wrong with you? Why are you trying to turn the tables what down? What stupid table? Brother, you yourself, you know the person with whom something is wrong with here. Something wrong with you? What point were you trying to make uh, talking back on my wife? That I love my brother, and I'm not going to stand anyone disrespecting him, not even his wife. Listen to me. 
The next time you try that nonsense, I'll do something to you that you will not forget for the rest of your life. What are you doing? Shut up! I didn't do anything. Oh, come on, babe. It's just three days we haven't seen. Come on. I know you miss me and I miss you too, okay? All right, sugar. I'll see you soon. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> what? Please, what? Crystal, what is going on? Why are you, why are you cheating on you? <sighs> Please. Look. I know I am not a saint, but you really need to stop. What do you feel finds out? And who cares if he finds out? Babe, this is your husband we are talking about here. Show some respect, please. And please don't question me, I beg. Really? Yes. And you're talking about this husband, a husband who, who doesn't have a job, who doesn't have money, and the one providing for everything, and all he does is lays around. I beg, I beg, I beg, please. So you are going after another man because of money? Is that it? I'm going. In fact, can you just leave me alone? Let me be. We call. Ah, ah. Oh. Ah. I mean, let's go to where we're supposed to get it. Oh. Ah. What is this I hear about you being disrespectful to us, Krista? Mm hmm. Is that what she told you? Are you being disrespectful to her or not? No, I'm not. Oh, but Maureen, you should know me by now. Of course I know you. And I know you can be a lot sometimes. Baby girl. Hmm. I don't think Auntie Crystal treats my brother well. Hmm. She speaks to him anyhow she wants, at any time. I don't like it. So, this is you standing up to her for your brother? <laughs> Not really. Mm. Just keep wondering why my brother and his wife cannot live in peace. Mm. Just like every other couple. <sighs> you know what? What? Firstly, you are going to allow your brother and his wife to Settle whatever differences they're having in your marriage as husband and wife. Okay. And secondly, you are going to start respecting Krista as a sister-in-law. Well, that's if she respects my brother. No, if. Okay, try. Try my best. Don't try. Just do it. So guess what? I got you a lot of things. I got you M and M's. You serious? I got you dunes. I got you. Where are they? Where are <laughs> they? <laughs> but I'm one Sir, all my brother wants is for you to give your consent and be ready to show up in why he takes care of everything else. Sharon, and I. I appreciate you trying to seek justice for me through your brother, but I'm just not interested in taking anybody's support right now. Sir, that company is still standing because you were the shoulder arm that kept it going. Why other businesses were going bankrupt at that time? Well, we do what we can, you know. Sir, I just... Sharon, look, listen. If I wanted to go to court, I would have done that a long time ago. It's just not my thing. Okay? Okay, sir. Yeah. 
Thank you. Your husband was wrongly accused. My boss did that so Phil wouldn't have his entitlements. Phil has to go to court. Can I ask you a question? Please. How does all of this concern me? I don't understand. What don't you understand? Hmm? I overheard your conversation. Clearly, Phil doesn't want to do anything about his broke state. Like, I don't get it. Someone was wrongly accused. His entitlement forfeited. And he doesn't want to do anything about it. And you want me to do what? Talk to him about it? If that's what it will take, then you do it. When I am not going to do that. You and I know that Phil is a smart person. His intelligence is exposed. So what are we going to tell him that he doesn't already know? So, why doesn't he want to go to court? Well, I don't know. I clearly don't know. Except, he's not as innocent as we think he is. Are you implying that? I am that not thing? implying anything. I just want us to reason things clearly. He's wrongly accused, doesn't want to do anything. What do you think? Can you just think about it? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm going to do? Are you going to have your bath? What's that supposed to mean? Just hold, hold on a second, please. Hey. Okay. You can go in and... Wait, 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 wait. What's all this now? What do you mean, what's all what? <laughs> Maybe you don't know. That you don't work, you don't do anything in this house, so you're not entitled to use anything that I buy in this house. Because I don't get it. You see this soap? I'm the one that bought it. It's my money. This and even this. See, toothpaste. No more toothpaste, you can't even afford it. And you want me to work, so continue to work like a slave for you so that you can just what? Breeze into the bathroom and use every of my things. You have refused to work. Even your entitlement, try and fight for it so you can get it back. No! You are enjoying this poverty. And then what? You want me to be suffering, providing the money, buying everything, then you, you will not be betting yourself for free. You'll be fresh and with what? A woman's money. What am I supposed to use to have my bath? Ah. With the freshness you have inside you, it can last for six months without soap. Just go in and have your bath in place. Next time, when you talk about your entitlements, you push hard for it. Ah, uh -uh. you want to kill me? Me, a woman, I'll provide, buy everything, and you use for free. You know, I respect you and I appreciate everything you've been doing for my brother since he lost his job. Can you cut to the chase already? The point is, I don't think you're being fair to him. I mean, your actions towards him are not fair. Are you okay? Now you listen to me. The next time you talk to me about Phil, I will make sure I send you back to the village where you belong. Is that why he can no longer have a bath and peace in this house? His own house? Wait. Are you speaking to me? Look, I overheard everything. And I don't think what you did was right. You know what? I'm actually in the best frame of mind right now. 
So I want you to leave here so I don't slap you. Leave! Get out! Yeah, I'll do that. Can you imagine? Children of nowadays. They don't even have respect. One day, this girl, I'll break her bones. Started. Hey, what's going on? It's it's nothing that you can handle. Can you at least give me a straight answer without acting cynical? Okay, fine. Look around you. Does it look like my food is still cooking? The gas is still out. Yes, it is. This whole thing is frustrating. Like, uh, and I just started cooking. What now? And I'll prepare myself or not to cook at all. What am I going to do now? Oh. Oh. So annoying. And I'm hungry. This food, I cooked it for only my brother and I. Only. Are you mad? What, what did you try to do? Is something wrong with you? Are you crazy? Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going Can on? Can you imagine? What's happening here? Can you imagine this, this riffraff? Brother, since she won't let you eat the food that she cooked, and she won't let you have a bath with her soul, she won't eat this food that I cooked for the both of us. Can you imagine? Kimberly, go to your room. Brother, she I said go to your room. Give, her my give food me that, that I... seat. I don't want to ever see this sort of nonsense again. Go to your room, my friend. <laughs> Can you imagine this grasshopper challenging me in my own husband's house? I'm sorry. My matrimony of this river because she's your sister. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about it. It's okay. It's alright. Just... I'm not eating it, I've lost my appetite. I'm sorry, now I eat now. No, 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 it's fine. I'm not eating again. Why? Is it because of what happened? I don't want to eat anymore. Babe, come on. I have lost my life. Brother, I have a confession to make. What confession? The gas, it's not really finished. What do you mean? It was me. What do you mean it was you? I turned it off from the gas cylinder. Why would you do that? When my wife was preparing a meal, why? A meal that she'll eat alone and starve you. No. Kimberly, listen, whatever is going on between Crystal and I, don't make that your business. We'll sort ourselves out. When? Rather than getting better, it gets worse Stop by the challenging my wife. Because believe me, if she asks me to send you back to the village because of your insolence and your arrogance, trust me, I will. You will? Without batting an eyelid. I will.
Jay, what's going on? You've been wearing a long face since we, since I picked you up. Keep my face out of your business. What's going on? Why such tone? What's wrong? Talk to me. As what, huh? Husband and wife or what? Okay, can you please don't do this? Please. Don't do this. Talk to me what's going on. I really want to know. You want us to talk about this, right? Yes. Pull the car over. <sighs> Jay. Pull the fucking car over. Watch your tone. <sighs> Can you please stop? Talk to me. Okay. What is it? What is it? Just talk to me. What is the problem? Babe, I begged you. I, I, I literally begged you. Begged me for what? What are you talking about? The other day we spoke, you said we were going to see the next day. It's almost a week now. And you failed to keep to your promise. Oh, oh, please stop. Don't say that. What am I supposed to say? Hmm? Okay. My mom's health is deteriorating by each passing day. Oh, oh sorry about that. But... Isn't that why I gave you the one million naira for a hospital bill? Babe, how much is one million naira compared to five million naira for the surgery? <sighs> is it that bad? Babe, it is worse than bad. You're not getting it. Okay, fine. Fine. Cheer up, okay? I'm going to give you the money. For real? Yeah. So can you smile for mommy? Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's very tasty. Ah, let's try something new, nice okay. and private. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Very fine, Ma. Please have a seat. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, is my boss in? Yeah, he's upstairs. Let me call him. Okay. No, sit, sit, sit. Okay. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Meet my brother, Parisa Elvis. Brother meets my boss. Thank you. So I brought him here so you two could have a word together. A word regarding what? About the... Sharon, I've told you. I've told you before. You're being so pushy. That's the same way Amaka was here the other day saying, telling me the same thing. I told her I don't want to have anything to do with this. She told me about it. Uh, she spoke right about the money. Uh, she's been a bit too pushy about the whole thing, but I think we should talk about it. Oh, Mr. Phil, see, all you have to do is to give me all the facts that you have so I can walk through it. And the only thing I'll require for you is to show up in court whenever you're needed. Then you just leave the rest for me. Uh, sorry, Barista Elvis. Elvis. Barista Elvis, I appreciate you and Sharon trying to help me like this, but listen, I. I have my personal reasons. Mr. Phil, what are these personal reasons, if I may ask? That's why they're personal to me. They're like my reasons. I really don't want to talk about it. Please. Well, thank you for down here, man. Because we can't obviously force you into doing what you want. Yes. Of course, don't you think we should? Yes. 
this people. That's Sharon, Phil's assistant. Assistant. So what are they doing here? I don't know. Well, from the little I gathered, the other guy is a guy from the courts who mm. Sharon is using to help Phil get justice. But apparently, he's refusing. What? <laughs> he's refusing? Yeah. Maybe he enjoys being broke. Sure. Yes, because there's no other thing to explain the reason for his foolishness. Krista. Yes. Please, Abek, I don't have time for that. Let's That's go. your husband. Let's go. I'll drive off and leave you. And dear Abek, let's go. I don't have time for rubbish. <sighs> right. <sighs> What are you doing in the kitchen at past 10 p.m.? If I'm not mistaken, that's exactly the same time you're coming back to your matrimonial home. Hey, the young lady, don't talk back at me. Okay? And why did you choose at this time of the night to cook? The food is not for me. I see. Then who is it for? Well, my brother asked me to cook for him to eat because he's hungry. Okay. Family business. Um, when you're done, don't forget to turn off the gas. You are the person we are supposed to be asking that. What is wrong with you? You have lost your job for over what? Six months now. Instead of you to get another job or fight for your entitlement, you're doing nothing. Just sitting in this house, broke, penniless and frustrated. Who do you think all that is weighing down on? Me! You waltz out of the house and then you waltz back in. I'm not expecting your husband to have a say in the reckless way you choose to live your life. However I choose to do my business, is none of your business. And the earlier you stay out of my business, uh, the better for everyone. Brother, if you can hear me, I, I'm done preparing the food you asked for and it's actually getting cold. So please come downstairs. Brother? Sometimes I can't just help but wonder what really happened to you and your wife. Crystal and I are fine. We just have some rough times. It happens in every marriage. Every marriage, you say? Okay, those marriages you're talking about, do they have rough times that linger for a long time? Every marriage is different, Kim. When you're older, you'll understand. Well, I'm not going to be having lingering issues with my future husband. You will be a submissive and obedient wife to your husband. Never place yourself above him. 
and no matter what he's going through in life, never look down on him or use that as an excuse to explore other options. What do you mean by explore other options? Like I said, when you're older, you'll understand. Would you be proud of the woman I'll become if I someday turn out to be like your wife? Exactly, do you think you're doing? As you can see, I'm getting dressed for work. Has it ever occurred to you that Kimberly might be watching? Watching and wanting to be like you? My own younger sister trying to model her life after you. Is this what she's going to learn? Your nasty attitude, your arrogance? I'm hmm? going to have a hectic and a neck breaking day at work today. So I do not need all of this energy. Even after everything, you're still very unremorseful, very proud, very arrogant. <laughs> so in your script, I was going to what? Go down on my knees and cry. Oh, please, I can't breathe. I can't leave, right? Newsflash, I am very good. OK? And. If you can't say something nice to me, you better don't say anything at all. Have a great day, my husband. to see you okay i know you don't remember me right but i do remember you really <laughs> yes give my indulgence please of course maureen <laughs> chris's best friend yes oh 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 phil swipes friend exactly. oh 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 i'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. it's fine i I'm forgive so sorry. you sorry. i forgive you it's what are you headed um i'm just heading down the road i want to get something okay yes. i can drop you off then it's okay, I can oh, walk. Oh, oh. I insist, please. Let me drop you off. It's fine. You oh. win. Right. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, careful. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. tells me that her husband has been declining the help you wish to give him. Yeah. You know, uh, Phil is such a man that I haven't seen the kind of person I haven't, I must say he's a real kind of person because he doesn't, he seems to be so content with the whole situation. That is why you have the lawyer. You should make him see reasons why you should take this case to court. I mean, this guy has been working his ass out of that company for decades. Long before he even got married to Krista. All this cannot just go down the train, Barista. It can't. You seem to know a lot about this family. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course I do. 
I and Krista, we've been friends since our university days. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I like, uh, I was told they've been married for quite a, uh, some time now. Yeah, they have. Quite a while. They have. Not kids. They don't have children. <sighs> well, it's a family secret. I had a child. A girl. But lost her to leukemia. That's so mm. painful. It's, that's really bad. Yeah. Well, enough of your friend. Let's talk about us. <laughs> so what have we been doing before now? You've been talking about us. Uh, we've been talking about your friend. I'll just uh, mm -hmm. let's get to know each other. I'd like to know where you stay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know your free times. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's fine. You just want us to be friends, right? It's like friends. Right? We can start from there. Oh. See how it comes to you. But very attractive to you. I like to say we try. Just try. Okay. If you see so badly. You really want to know my owl? Yeah, I want to. Okay, it's fine. Let's try. Right. <laughs> well, you're cute anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. You're beautiful. <laughs> Barry Star. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you. So I should be on my way now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm so, so sorry. I hope you're not hurt. You hurt? I am not hurt. Wait, is this, is this how you, you go about driving carelessly and running people over? Don't, is this it? Don't say that. It, it wasn't intentional. I, I mean, you are not even being vigilant at Christmas. <laughs> you want to turn the table on me now? Excuse me? Well... We don't need to make a fuss out of anything, you know. But you are already making a fuss out of everything by not admitting that you're, you're careless driving. What's that? I apologize. I'm sorry. Apology not accepted. Hey, come on, I'm sorry. My name is Jay. Hello. You're keeping a gentleman's hand hanging. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you are you going my way? Can I drop you? So you can run us over here. Come on. Please. So, I hope my sins are forgiven now. I forgive you. So, when is someone seeing you? Um, whenever you want, it's fine. Hmm. Okay, so, how about tomorrow? Yeah, sure, that would be great. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for this. No, it's yeah. nothing. So, you call me, right? I will. Bye. Bye.
Bye, sweet. I'll see you later today, okay? I promise. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Oh. It's enough. <laughs> okay, I have to go now. Yeah, bye. Love you. <laughs> Finally, someone is in love. <clears throat> well, you know, sometimes giving a chance doesn't hurt you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you make it sound as if someone was never going to come and sweep you off your feet. Okay, so you do you. And let's get it clear. Nobody, absolutely nobody sweeps me off my feet. Okay? I don't understand. Who is the guy? Who is that guy now? You know already. <laughs> It's just for the moment. And plus this guy is so soft. Hmm. You know soft. Oh my God, like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is soft and succulent. Ah, just oh my the God. Way I love them. Hmm. I can hold that. Thank God I have a man though. Otherwise I would have been jealous right now. Oh, excuse me. Uh, ooh. speaking of the devil, my baby. Hey, baby. I'm fine. It's just that I miss you. Are you serious? Oh, dear. So sorry. Okay, please just let me know in case you need anything, okay? Alright, talk to you later. I miss you too. <laughs> Alright, bye. Wait. Chris, Chris, you mean you pick a skull in your room? What if Kimberly or Phil hears you? Oh, well. I am not surprised. That's why you don't wear your wedding blues. Eh, hey, I beg. You know what you're doing isn't right. You need to stop it. Eh, hey, what is that? You two. What you're doing is it right? At least I am not the one that is married. I'm still sleeping with someone else outside. Are you not sleeping with someone else outside? With my boyfriend, it's baby girl. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that you see, I see where what sins. Kristen. What? I beg. Remove the stone in your eye first before thinking of the, the sand in my own eyes. <laughs> oh, your God, what? See, please, can we just go back to our gist? Or did you come here to scold me like my school teacher? Are you more? What's the, what's the matter? Brother, everything is the matter. Lately, it's been a crossfire between you and your wife. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. That's what you always say. Everything will be fine. Look, I'm not a kid anymore. I know when things are fine and when they aren't. Please, talk to me. You used to talk to me when I was much younger. You are still very young. Anyway, um... Listen, my wife and I are just having misunderstandings, okay? Well, so we'll iron things out. There's really nothing, there's no need for you to involve yourself in this. Okay? My brother's marriage is gradually falling apart. I'm just being concerned. Everything will be all right. Okay? Everything will be all right. Have you not been listening? My mom is critically ill, and most times I am at the hospital with her. What is this fuss about? What do you mean, what is this fuss about? I'm your girlfriend. I haven't heard from you in days. 
Do you expect me to be cool about it? What are you talking about, huh? You've got a husband. Hello? Oh. I I'm supposed to be the side guy. So this is what this is all about, right? Listen, babe. I didn't mean to come off that way. It's just that my mom's situation is frying me up. I, I need some more money to sort out the heaping hospital bills. Then you should have talked to me about it. Hey, be reminded that you gave me some money just a while ago. It doesn't matter. I'm your girlfriend. And I care a lot, you know? I, I know you do, but this is family issue. My family issue. Come on, stop it. I'm your girlfriend. I'm like family to you too. Okay? So you can talk to me about anything and everything. I am part of your life now. This is so sweet of you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know how to get me right. <laughs> What is it? First of all, I am I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I've been a lot lately. It's just that since I came to this house, I've not really seen you and my brother enjoy quality time together. And I'm bothered about it. Mm. I remember when both of you used to visit the village. It was so beautiful. What is going on now? Well, I don't have an answer to that question. Please, Auntie Crystal, please, can you two just settle? Settle every problem that you're having. I don't know what it is, but please. Please. Well, I am not the problem here. Your brother is the problem. He lost his job and he's not bothered about it. Look, he was wrongly accused. He was, and they took everything from him, all his entitlement. They took everything away from him. He's pained and devastated. Please, my uncle, my brother spent almost all his life building on that company. You need to understand that it's not easy to start from the scratch again. And this was when? This has been over six months plus now. And he's still dwelling in that. Dwelling in the whole lost entitlement thing. Please, auntie, like, maybe you can help him. You can help uh, him wrap his hand around something he can do for now. How? Tell me, how? My help. It's like you don't know your brother. He is self-made. He doesn't listen to advice. He doesn't even take it at all. So please just let me be. Perhaps I have an idea on how we can start all over again. And what is that? We could just become family again. We could, you know, come together as family, enjoy family time. Together, again, please. Well, he's your brother. You will always take his side. No. Yes. I, I'm not taking his side. I just want to, I want to feel that sense of family togetherness in this house again. And to Crystal. And to Crystal. Please just let me be. I was actually in the middle of something. Okay? Crystal? 
Yes. Why are you taking pictures of them? Do you know them? No, I don't. Why are you taking pictures of random people on the street? Because I just want to take pictures. In fact, I'm taking pictures of the sunset. The sunset? Yes, you asked too many questions. Let's go. Rather than things to get better, things to get worse. Is she still pressing on her inability to get a job? I don't think that's the point. The issue now is about the cancer. But I told you, my doctor friend would tell you what to do. Yes, he did, and I did what he said. But this isn't about me, it's about Crystal. What about her? Apart from the fact that I suspect she's seen somebody, uh, I think she wants to say something to me. I think she must have stumbled on it. Yeah, I think so too. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I guess. Hey, babe. How are you? What's up? So, um, what are you doing? I know you're thinking about me. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's say, let's say 5 p.m. Yeah, 5 p.m. You know, let, let me come. Hey! Hi, baby! <laughs> so, cool. up? I'm good. So, um, babe, I keep wondering, like... Okay. You have never said anything about your family to me, like your mother, your brothers, your sisters, you know? You've never said anything. That's because I don't have one. Baby, you don't have a family? Yeah, I was raised in an orphanage. Why are you being serious right now? Yeah, for real. I, I never had anyone to call family. I mean, I never had any family. Save that you're my only family right now. Oh my god, that's so nice. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love you, you, babe. I love you more. Here you go. You're welcome. <sighs> um, but did you have one minute, please? I'm very busy right now, kid. Did you get a job? No. So, what are you doing? Sorting out some very important papers. Oh, okay. Well, what I want to ask you is also very important. Are you hiding anything from your wife and I? I don't have time for this now, Kim. But did you realize that you're the cause of some of the things that has been happening in this house? Stop. Don't, don't remind me. Just accept the truth. Okay, your wife told me. She told me that there is something important that you're hiding from us. That she only got to know by chance. And maybe, just maybe, that's why she's been so uptight and uncool at you. Okay, what is this thing that she says she found out? I don't know. She didn't tell me. That's why I came to you to ask you. I'll go back to her. Uh, and do what? You ask her. But are you enjoying this hostile and restive atmosphere going on in this house? <sighs> this place is not peaceful. And you're raising me here. But that... At least... I'll just leave them. She's dragging my younger sister into this. There has to be a way I should balance things. Phil, don't let anything push you into letting it out. 
we have to keep observing the process to see how it goes. What else is there to observe? What else is there to see? This is getting creepier than I envisaged. Relax, Phil. Relax. You know it's never going to be smooth and fluid. You know what? Maybe you should just focus on court cases and stop giving me advice on how to run my family. As a matter of fact, whatever I suspected about her doesn't count anymore. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. For real? No, no, it's fine. Seriously. It's fine. It's For fine. real? No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Hey, hey. Don't you dare, okay? What did you do that for? Now listen to me, little boy. We are not equal on all standards, and we'll never be. And so freaking what? What does that even mean? Hey, you will not disrespect me. You will not even try it at all to disrespect me. My marriage is going downturn because of you. And you think you can what? Disrespect me? Or do anyhow else you like? Don't even think of it, because I am going to mess you up in this Lagos. What are you talking about? What's with all these accusations? Whatever. Did you get the money I sent you? Is that why you're being all hostile at me? Hmm. Because you want to play the pretense game. Here. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, this is what you do now. What's what's with this crap? Oh, you go about now stalking me. Is that how jobless? Are you hey. Now listen and listen good. If you think giving me money is making you an empress over me, you need to rethink. Ah, get out of my car. Get out! Can you imagine this little boy? Crystal, are you okay? You don't look too good. I'm good. Um, maybe because I'm tired. Very tired. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Auntie Maureen was here earlier. She was here for about three hours. Oh, All right. I must have lost track of time. Yeah. Did she drop any message for me? Oh, yeah. She said I should tell you to call her when you get back. Okay, uh, I'll do that. I'll be in my room. Yeah, you really want the rest. Yeah, I do. Okay. Brother. How are you? Did she tell you what the problem is? Uh, she said she's tired. Is there any problem? Indeed. Indeed. What do you mean by it? indeed? Brother. Brother. What is going on? By this time, do you want to get me into trouble with my husband? 
You're outside what? You, you're waiting for me? Are you out of your mind? Uh, Alright, fine, fine. Something is wrong with you, honestly. Brother, oh? good afternoon. Good afternoon, where are you going? Um, Auntie Cressa said Go I back and see your room. Well, she's actually... She what? My friend, will you go back and see your room? All you do these days is abandon your studies and run around for Crystal. Wait, brother. Is this anchor just about abandoning my studies? Well, because Auntie Crystal and I are now in good terms. Go back to your room. <laughs> Chris, what, what's this thing that you're doing with Kimberly? What is that? I mean, apart from the fact that you're clearly trying to buy her love, you're obviously distracting her from her studies. I don't understand. What is it? First, you complain about me being hostile towards her. Now I'm being kind and caring, you are still complaining. What do you really want from me? Oh, wait. Do we all have to join in your saddest parade for us to please you? Well, whatever it is you want to do, just do. But don't sway her from her studies. That's why she's here. Excuse I me. See. So you waited for me to come so that you can just spew things out of your mouth and just walk away like that. You see my problem? These men, they'll be the ones to trigger the women. When the women start talking now, they'll move and be making women look like they are the, they are the problem, problematic ones. Ah, we're having a decent conversation here. I didn't even say anything to him, oh. What's all this now? Oh. Come in. Hey, Auntie Crystal. Hey. Uh, how are you? Fine. What are you doing? I'm just trying to study. Okay, I can see. And what would you be doing after that? I guess study again. Studying again? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> what did he do to you? You've been on those books for eight hours now. Are you trying to lose your mind? No. My brother told me to read plenty so that I can catch up with my international contemporaries. And lose your mind in the process. Anyway, I'll be going to the mall. Would you like to join me? Well, I would have loved to, but my brother's not going to like that. Of course, I know he's going to hate it. Let's go. Okay, dress. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'm starting to think Crystal's found out about this. What are your fears? If my suspicions are correct, she might try to poison my sister's mind further. I don't know if she might be up to something extremely fishy. Are you saying you don't trust her? As we speak, I don't even know what that woman is up to. And the scary part is that my sister now sees things from her POV. But there has to be a way to talk your sister out of the dogma. I don't want to create enmity between them. But you said you don't want anybody to turn your sister against you. I also hate it when they were not on speaking terms. Listen, I can handle crystals, fine. Yeah. What do you really want? Is it possible you focus on your court cases? Mr. Phil, 
Well, you told me your family issue was paramount. Yeah. Hey. Sure. What a pleasant surprise. Hello, yeah. Hey. Bye. It's so good to see you. How are you? Welcome. I'm fine. <laughs> so, what's going on? If my brother is bad, then I'm probably good. Well, thank God he's not. Oh, thank God. Because if he was, he would have crucified us. Yeah, thank you so much, Auntie Crystal. You're welcome. Yeah. So one more thing. Please, yeah. could you help me with some data? I'm out of data. Okay, data, 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 data. All right, here. Help oh, yourself. thank you. I'm going to drop this in the kitchen. All right. <sighs> Remember the password, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank okay. you. So tell me, what did you say to him that made him change his mind? Nothing. I decided not to be pushy about it. I just want us to go at his pace. And I also want him to gain from both situations. Oh, you're willing to do that for him? I can do anything for you, my dear sister. And besides, from all that you have told me, I'm convinced that Phil is a good man. Yes. Just that he has been through many organs of life. You're right about that. And thank you so much. Thank you for everything. I'm just going to look for a way to make sure that he gains on both situations. To Crystal? Yes? Why are you taking pictures of them? Do you know them? No, I don't. What? Right. To Crystal. What's going on? No, the question should be, how long has this been going on? How long has what been going on? No, no, don't pretend, because all your secrets are out. How long has this been going on? What secret are you talking about? So I give you my phone and you're going through my phone? Is this why you've been having problems with my brother? Because of a guy my age or slightly above my age? Um, oh, wait, I remember him. Yeah, I do. You said it was nothing when I asked you why you were taking photos of him and the lady he was with. So you're cheating on my brother with him. No, 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 no. I'm not. Just give me back my phone. I so gave you my into phone. So small boys. You are. Is something wrong with you? Kimberly, I gave you my phone to send data to your phone. And you're what? Invading my privacy? No, 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 no. That's not the point. The point is, you're cheating on my brother with a guy old enough to be your younger brother. How do you think he will feel when he discovers this? Can you stop and give me back my phone? No. What's wrong with you? I will not give you the phone. You're shamelessly cheating on my brother with... With your... Listen, Kimberly. Do not say a word. If you do, I promise you I'm going to kill you. Hey! What's going on? What? What do you mean? Uh, what's that? I heard voices. What, what is you? it? You heard nothing. Nothing is going on. Of course you heard voices. Loud okay. voices. Kimberly, what's wrong with you? Don't. Don't do that. Please. Do you know that your honorable Best friend, mm -hmm. he's cheating on my brother. Oh, young lady, you will not talk about that. And you'll not speak to her in that home. And Maureen, you have to listen to me and understand that your friend has been cheating on my brother with a small boy. Give me back my phone. What is wrong with is you? Boy. Let me show you my phone. What is wrong with you? That is a small boy. Listen, you haven't heard the last of me yet. I'm going to skin you alive. I promise you. What? First of you, you've been sleeping with Jay? You are freaking sleeping with my boyfriend? You. Um, can you, can you like, do? Why? Why should I do? 
Hi, um... What is going on? Jay, you have been sleeping with my friend. Well, what's going on? I, I, don't, I don't understand. What are you talking... Excuse me. Jay, you have been sleeping with a married woman, which happens to be my friend. What are you talking about? Oh, what's what what's going on? Don't lie. lie. Don't I'm lie because your secret is out. What are you talking about? So what's going on? What's, what's going on? What's going on? Oh my god. Do you by any chance know this? I can't lady? believe my eyes. Uh, no, 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 I don't. I swear, I've never seen her. Who is this? I don't know her. What do you mean? Jay, you don't know Krista. What Chris, is she who? About? I, don't, I don't know. Krista. What is she talking about? Why Chris, who? I don't know who Jay, that is. is she? Jay! Oh. Jay! Answer. Uh, hi. It's. <laughs> <laughs> We really need to talk. We need to talk about Jay. Jay and I met under a critical circumstances. I was searching for an important document, which I desperately needed for an important presentation. I searched literally everywhere, but the document was nowhere to be found. And then, all of a sudden, one more place came to my mind the pigeonhole of the car. I knew I never had the documents in that aspect of the house. But to satisfy my curiosity, I had to. Just at the verge of quitting and going back inside, I stumbled on the unbelievable hospital report. He <laughs> So what did you stumble on? Phil's medical report showed that he has stage 4 lung cancer mm -hmm. and he only has a few years to live. A stage 4 lung cancer? Yes. <laughs> Babe, this is no good at all. That's not even the breaking point for me. What really broke me is that he didn't tell me or his family about it. Did you confront him? No, I didn't. So what did you do? I got really broken and frustrated. I started to feel like I was having some kind of schizophrenia attack. I, I got into the car, started driving. I was just at the point of committing suicide. What? But at some point, I thought about it. And I said to myself, instead of dying maybe i should leave for the people who love and care about me and that was when jay happened so how did this happen jay offered me a shoulder to lean on and cry on and one thing led to another it developed into love love happened <laughs> this doesn't look like love to me you don't understand it is it is less an affection than a fling <sighs> You don't understand what I feel for that guy. Babe, you are a married woman. Dying husband. Babe, do not pitch your tent of infidelity to your husband's supposed cessation of life. Krista, do not. It's not that simple. Okay, look at it this way. What if Phil couldn't come to the terms that he was going to die and leave his family? Have you thought about that? I don't know. Krista, Phil needs you now. He needs you more than ever before. You need to be there for him. Please. I'm sorry I didn't know about this. Okay? Thank you. That's what you've said. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Brother, may we speak, please? It's important. We need I'm to not talk. In the mood. I'm not in the mood, please. But it's important. Ah. 
Right. I couldn't wait to get back so I could talk some sense into you. Yeah, me too. I was waiting patiently for you to come back so we could talk. I don't know what exactly is going on, but I need you to stop. Okay. And if I don't? And if I don't, what will you do? Talk to your brother about it? Now you listen. No, you listen to me, auntie. I'm sick and tired of all this. And it's high time you and my brother settled that problem that seems so hard for you to settle. Oh, really? Yes. Maybe you should go talk to your brother. What is wrong with him that he's so ashamed of, of talking to his family about it? You know what? I'm going to ask one more time. But this time, more calmly. What exactly is going on? Like I said, go talk to your brother about it first. And until then, stay the heck out of my business. Ah! What is going on? important you know who I am. What's important is stay away from my brother's wife. <laughs> Sorry, who did you say you were again? I don't remember telling you my name. I'm just telling you to stay away from my brother's wife, okay? <laughs> and who is your brother's wife? <laughs> oh, I can see. You have a beehive of them, where you go and pick one every day. Congratulations to you, I don't have a business. I don't have a problem with that. My only problem is you stay away from my brother's wife. But if you claim you don't know, my brother will come for you. And when he does, you will know exactly who I'm talking about. That's if you even survive to tell the story. Um, I would have to stop you right there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you think you are? Who and who the hell is your brother's wife? You think you can just come in my car and you start throwing threats at me? My friend, get out of my rib. Okay. But I'm just warning you. Beware. My friend, Bows, look at this chuckle head. Can you imagine? Ha. Lagos. Can you imagine? Just, just. Okay. Can you imagine? You bloody gold digger. Now listen to me, young boy. I don't want to ever see you again. Can you hear me? I don't want to ever set my eyes on you. Babe, you don't have to sound this way. See, that lady threw herself at me. I don't have anything to do with her. I have nothing serious to do with her. Please believe me. And how do you expect me to believe all this crap you just said now? Babe, see, I love you. Please don't break my heart. I don't have anything to do with that lady. It's you I want. I'm so sorry. Babe, are you there? Babe. I wow. Just wow, G. You know, I heard everything you said. Absolutely everything. But you know what baffles me is, what are you still doing with my friend? What are you doing with a married woman? Babe, Jane? calm down. Calm down. It's, it's not that deep. Calm down. <laughs> I should calm down. Wow. You know what? I know what to do. It's not, it's not that deep. Stop. You... Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Hello? Listen, I know I wanted this to last, but I don't think I want to continue with this anymore. I want to pay attention to my husband. But, babe, I, I, I thought you said you didn't have anything to do with him. 
because he was dying. I know I said all of that. I'm not supposed to discuss my family issues with you. My husband has stage 4 cancer and I need to pay attention to him. I don't want to continue all of this with you. And besides, you're not someone that I can trust. So I... I don't know if I'm making the right decision. But what I'm too sure of is that I want to pay attention to my husband. So please leave me alone and don't call me again. Who is that? Madam, I came to warn you for the last time. Stay away from my boyfriend. I don't understand. What right do you have to walk into my house and start telling me to stay away from Jay? Are you alright? For your best interest, I am warning you for the last time. Stay away from Jay. What is your problem? Focus on your marriage, married woman. What is it? I do not take advice from you, hmm. okay? And you have no right to say what you just said. I can't listen to you, so please leave my house. I should leave. Yes. I've told you, if I were you, I would be more focused on or, or strive to make my marriage work. And stop the silly thing you do. Look at you. Maureen, leave my house. I'll leave, but this is the last time. I will not repeat myself again. Stay away from Jane. Maureen, just get out of my house. Just get out. So get out! Can you imagine? Can you see what Jay cost? Crystal, when it? did you find out that my brother has cancer? What do you mean? <laughs> Don't pretend. Don't pretend because I know everything now. You knew that my brother had cancer and, and the best thing you thought of was to make another plan with a guy. Why? Listen, if you have something up there, if you have some kind of mental issue, let me know and I will gladly take you to a rehab. But using that as a prerogative to say certain things to me, I wouldn't take that. What is the matter with you? You and my brother are the matter with me. One minute you're indulging in phone conspiracies about my brother's health. Another minute you're fighting over a man with your own best friend. What exactly is going on? What? Listen, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So please just leave my sight, okay? I said get out! Do you know what? I'm going to say this now. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of anything. I just want to let you all know that I am listening and watching every single thing going on in this house. I said leave. Get out of my sight! Get out! Leave! kept this away from her. You kept it away from me too. And yet I asked you and you said everything was fine. What's going on? No, you tell me. 
You're the one that's supposed to tell me what exactly is going on. What is going on? Did, tell me. Did Crystal put you up to this? Because I don't understand. When were you supposed to tell me that you were about to die? When? No, I found it. I found the medical report. And how could you do this? How could you do this to us? You had cancer, but you didn't tell anybody about it. You kept it away from your wife and your only sibling. What sort of a man does that? Why? 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 This is not good. This is not good. Hey, bro. What's going on? Did my boss call you? I just got his message now. And I think I have to go and see him. Okay, now. I'll call. What's, what's going on, babe? I meant everything I said. I know it has been my greatest joy to spend forever with you. But that can't happen. Is this supposed to be a goodbye? Jay, it's just that... Do not. Uh -uh, Crystal. Don't tell it to my face already. Jay, this is not working. It's not working at all. I have my husband, I have my family. I need to rebuild my already wrecked home. <laughs> so... In your estimation, I'm supposed to probably start rolling on the floor, kissing your feet, Jay. and begging you to stay. Jay, I'm right? talking about something serious in your watch. And I'm supposed to sit here, yeah? And, and, and watch you waffle badder dash at me, right? Hey, please stop, okay? I'm not going to sit here and watch you speak to me in that manner, little boy. Little boy? Yes. <laughs> You know what? Just go. Get out. Yes, you two, get out. Get out. What was I thinking dealing with an immature goat? Thank you for making this easy. Let's just, let's hold on, I'm waiting for my wine case. Okay? Yeah. It's just over here. Hello, sweetheart. Please. Join us. Okay, so um, uh, I'd like us to know um, 
especially members of my family, everything that's been going on. First of all, I do not have cancer. What? We, when we lost our daughter two years ago, um, things began to nosedive between Crystal and I. And just for over, over a year, she's been seeing somebody on the side. You, you don't have cancer? I saw the medical reports. You saw the medical reports and that's what made you go deeper with your lover. The medical reports aside, that's no excuse. You were diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. I didn't know I had to stumble on the medical reports. Do you know how that made me feel? How exactly does that make you feel? You've been frolicking with your so-called lover before the medical diagnosis. What are you saying? <sighs> I was really broken. I was at the point of committing suicide before G and I happened. Sorry, I'm not interested in how and when you met your so-called J, but I have one question for you. Was it the knowledge of my brother's terminal disease that made you make the plan of sending me out of this house so that you can remain here with him? What? Yes. What are you talking about? Of course you do. And don't try to deny it. I told you, I already know about all your escapades. So... I guess I'm not the only one hiding things, huh? Let Auntie Crystal answer. I do not have an answer to that question. You do. You do. I caught you several times. Yes, I enjoy your company too. Once I succeed in sending Kimberly back to the village, we can spend more time together. And I love you too. Bye. She wanted to send me to the village. She wanted to send me there and then stay here with her Jay for the forever they've always desired to have. Oh, you knew about Jay, huh? Of course I did. I followed her on some occasions. I saw them together. And I always knew it whenever he called her. So I knew. Take this from me. Everything I did, I did it out of frustration. Why are you lying, Crystal? Why are you lying? Why is there no iota of truth in you? You were frolicking with your lover before stumbling on the medical report. So why are you lying? That wasn't the first day I saw her and the fellow. Elvi spoke to his friend who's a medical doctor to fake a report stating I was down with a terminal disease. And the day she found the report, this was where she went.
What did she say? <laughs> she said that uh, she left on that day to jump off the bridge when she stumbled on the medical about Phil dying. That was what she said. <laughs> That's a lie. What? <laughs> so, she came to see me. Uh -huh. And yes, we were together that day. And then we started making plans of what we we're going to do if Phil dies. What plans? Phil, please. Phil, I'm really sorry. Please, please, I beg you. I know you hate me right now. I know what I did was wrong. But please, I'm begging you. I'm really sorry, please. Please just find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. Please. Please, I can't live without you, please. On the contrary, I hold nothing against you. But just like Barrister Elvis said, the only way to test how genuine a woman is is when her husband is down. <laughs> now I know, I guess. I don't want to see you when I get back downstairs. Not so fast, Mr. Phil. You have a guest. Oh. You see, Mr. Justice and I, I have been in communication and I show him all he's time to lose if you decide to go to court. You see, I have a good news for you, Mr. Phil. All that is entitled to you has just been released. Every of your benefits. I just need you to sign this. These are the documents. It's your signature, yeah? Right there, all right. Oh my God, brother, you did it. I knew you were going to do it. I didn't actually do this alone. Krista here actually helped me all the way. She was the one who found the document the chief signed before he died. And in the document, it states that Phil should be the CEO after he dies. My barrister, I thought you said we couldn't find the document. Your wife here found the document and she confided in me. She never planned to run away. Please find a place in your heart to forgive her. Please, I'm begging you. I am really sorry. I know I stepped out of line. I know I did what I wasn't supposed to do as a wife. I don't, I don't know what got about me, but I'm begging you. If you can give me another chance, if you can give me a second chance, I promise you that I will do better, I will do right by you. I'll be everything you want me to be and I will never do this again, I don't know. Please, please, Phil, please, my husband, I'm begging you. Please forgive me. Forgive me, please. I'm really sorry from the depth of my heart. Please, Kimberly, help me beg your brother. You're everything I have. You're all that I have. Please, please forgive her. Please. please find a place in your heart to forgive her. Thank you. Just have mercy on me. I'm sorry. Please, please, I'm begging. 